Today we're opening first edition Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon. What's up guys, we are back with another insane old school Yu-Gi-Oh opening. I was sent some insane packs by MILF Man on my Discord. Yeah, that, that's his name. And it's gonna be insane. Chat is here because it's a live on Twitch opening. We are opening all of these packs right here live. Not just these, first edition Legend of Blue Eyes, first edition Metal Raiders, and first edition Pharaoh Servant. But also we have a few other bonus ones like Ghost from the Past 2, Dimension Force, Battles of the Legend, Crystal Revenge, which of course is gonna have an Exodia piece in it, naturally. Battles of Legend Armageddon for that 10K dragon. And we also have a giveaway. I'll be giving away, me and Milfman will be giving away this mystery box all you have to do is like this video be subscribed turn on notifications and let me know what we're gonna get from legend of blue eyes say blue eyes my dragon and be right be right all right guys chat has been destroyed they're no longer here no i'm just kidding they're still here but they're not on the screen so we have one that he gave me and one that's a giveaway i don't remember which one i showed but the one is the giveaway one i will be opening for myself in this video as well so we got an extra little opening with the mystery box let's start off with this mystery box because this is not you know this is mine and these are not my packs so we're gonna start off with what my packs are see if i can pull something awesome and then we will see what we can get out of those old school packs, which I'm really excited to open. Okay, mystery box. Can we get an epic collectible tin or pin? Not tin. There's no tins in here. A pin would be great. There's a lot of awesome ones. I've seen a Toon Dragon. I've seen Red Eyes, Blue Eyes, Exodia. Let's see. We have Pot of Greed. Okay, we've seen this one before, but I didn't actually own this because I had to give that away because it was part of the giveaway. Now I do own the Pot of Greed, which is pretty cool. Now I have a couple for myself. I'm very happy about that. And uh, you guys can get one in the giveaway as well. Let's see, there's two packs. We're gonna go with this one. Cybernetic Horizon, okay, not that insane. Kind of eh, it's kind of whatever. Not that crazy, one, two, three, four. I think we do three right here. We have the Goki Heal Ogre. This is for me, before we get into the crazy stuff. Cluster, we got the Terrifying Toddler, Moonsalote, we've got the Point guard, the Arboreal. They got a point guard. Interesting. Mini Boral Dragon and then the Umbarage. I feel like I pull this guy every time out of this set. Except, of course, when we pull, you know, the Boral Sword or whatever he's called, which we poured, pulled a lot a long time ago. Kind of cooled down on that. One more pack in this mystery box for me. It is a. Oh, no legacy pack. Okay, Flames Destruction. We will just pull Impermanence. That's what we're going to do. You simply pull it. Infinite Impermanence, Secret Rare, or Ghost Bell. I'd be happy with that. Battery Man Solar, we have the Vindred Daybreak, Crystal Master, Goki Octo Stretch, the Space Insulator, three Trolling Trolls, one of my favorite cards, that's hilarious, Defrag Dragon, Link Mound, it's just a super in the Goki face turn, okay, all right, not great for me, but that's okay, we really want to save all the luck here. Only a few packs in this video, so it's not going to be a crazy long video, but we do have some big ones. We're going to start off with the Ghost from the Past 2 pack, let's see if we can pull something huge. Well, imagine a ghost out of one pack. That'd be pretty crazy. There's a lot of great potential in these uh, in these cards today. Alien Ammonite, Heavenly Dragon Circle. That's a nice ultra. Can we get a ghost? I think it would have been there, wouldn't it? DD Necro Slime and the Plunder Patrol Ship Brand. So we're starting off a little slow on this video, but really all you need is one huge pull. Dimension Force First Edition. This could have. Speaking of Ghost Bell, we have the Secret Rare, the original. This could have a Starlight Rare. So let's see. One, two, three, four. Starlight Rare, Ghost Bell, and Haunted Mansion. Light Law Medium, Ancient Warrior Saga, Deception and Betrayal, Ancient Warrior Savage Dawn Ying. We have the Preta Plant, Vivid Tail, Symphonic Warrior DJ, J, the second J, Therion Stand Up, oh, Ruxin Special, don't do it, and, wait, that's not it, Divine Dragon, and chang Shi, the Spiriad, Spirit, Spirit, Spiridal, Spiridal, I don't know, that's just too much, that's confusing, okay? Back to it, Dimension Force, Probably like the least crazy of the packs that we're opening today, but there's a lot of potential here. So let's try and pull it. Oh, we have a level cap on the screen. I just realized that. I should probably take that off um, since that has nothing to do with what we're doing. All right, guys, no more level cap being added, which, uh, you know, there's a little Pokemon stuff going on on our screen, but don't worry. It, it's gone now. Okay, let's pull the Ghost Rare, Starlight, Sunlit, Haunted Zombies. Oh, no, Ruxin Special. Don't worry. Don't worry, guys. I, did, I didn't ruin it. Okay, Heroic Challenger. Okay. War Rock Medium. War Rocks! Can we pull a War Rock card? Scareclaw Rykart. Okay, there's something. It's an ultra rare. Scareclaw's not too shabby. That's pretty cool. Ultra rare. Our first decent pull. And that means we're just going to simply pull Exodia Starlight right now. This is what's going to happen. The live chat will bring us luck. Live chat, send us some luck right now. 
If you are in the comments watching on YouTube, send us some, you know, future luck from the future. But somehow, based on how time works, you will send us luck. Here we go. I think you do two from... Did I do two from the back? I don't think I did. Okay, we have the G Golem. Number 100... Oh, yeah, I definitely did it. Okay. <laughs> There's the number 100 Numeron Dragon. I mean, that's a pretty good card, but, you know, all the Battles of Legend Crystal Revenge cards have kind of gotten killed at this point. We have one more pack of Battles of Legend Crystal Revenge. Can we pull something big? And by big, there's a lot of good stuff. There's Access Code Talker. There's all the Exodia pieces. There's four other Starlights as well. There's the uh, regular Access Code. I mean, there's some good stuff. Dimension Dice. We have the Blackwing Breeze, the Zephyr. Fright for Patchwork. Also a pretty good card. Not really worth anything anymore. Avenger at Savior. And is it a Starlight? No, it's Advanced Crystal Beast Amber Mammoth, but it's from... The Crystal Beast set, so makes sense, all right? Not too terrible there. And now we have five packs of Battles of Legend Armageddon. This set could have a $1,500 rock card. The, of course, 10K Dragon. About a two and a half year old set at this point, which is old. I mean, that's pretty old. I remember this was, I think, my first ever live stream on YouTube, which is pretty crazy now that I think about it. Now, and we actually pulled it, so let's see if we can do that again. Boost Warrior, I've not pulled it since then. Elemental Hero, Chaos Neos, cool to see that in here. The Steam Synchron. I don't even remember this card being in here. We have a Appliance or Laundry Dragon. Shout out to King Scarlet. And Fossil Fusion. I remember pulling this a bunch. So not really a crazy card. It is a secret rare, you know, guaranteed per pack, one, one secret rare. But that's okay. Next pack, Battles of Legend Armageddon. We've got five chances. If there is a 10k dragon in this, that would be like, it, it would be better than a lot of you know, a lot of cards in here. Like, it would be crazy. We have a Malefic Paradigm Dragon. I mean, be I, I just messed it up. Better than a lot of cards in the old sets is what I meant to say, because obviously it'd be better than the other cards in here. The Artifact Ignition. So I did a pack trick for some reason. I think these are actually European packs now that I'm opening these, because they're opening with a secret in the back. So I think these are European uh, versions. I believe. 10k Dragon. Psychic Wave. We got the Obedience School. It's so cool to see all these old, like, guys on there. Uh, Elemental Hero Shining Flare Wingman, kind of a weird reprint. Where's the Air Neos? Forbidden Yu-Gi-Oh card? At that point, we didn't know it was the Forbidden Yu-Gi-Oh card. We were just wondering. We're like, where is it? We have the Elemental Hero Chaos Neos, also a weird one to be in here. And Power Crawler. Okay, <laughs> Power Crawler. Woohoo. Yeah, okay. Yeah, nothing to really get excited about there. Okay, guys, you just got to believe. Just send the luck. Send the luck in the chat. Let's go. Five packs to go, and they're, they're all bangers, so let's see. Is there a crazy card in here? Psychic Wave. Fire Flint Lady. We have Invoked Elysium. Appliancer Breaker Bunkle. And the Dark Spell Regenerator. Secret Rare. Wow, these are not so hot right now. What was the big card that you could pull in here? You could pull like Invocation, I think. And then there was like a... There was another one that was pretty big, right? All right. Quakimir Dragon. Or Drago. I always want to say Dragon. It's just Drago. We have Flower Cardian at Cherry Blossom. Cross Sheep. Appliancer copy buckle and finally we have oh darkness metal the dragon of dark steel there we go that's kind of a uh, tongue twister there's just so many words in it but actually a pretty good one this one's worth a few bucks probably our best pull of the video so far maybe the scareclaw right card i don't know how much that one's worth but this is a very cool looking card first of all and then it's also worth a little bit as well now we are on to the final three the big three that we've been waiting for so we have the fourth set in Yu-Gi-Oh, first edition pharaoh servant second set in Yu-Gi-Oh, first edition metal raiders and first set in Yu-Gi-Oh, first edition legend of blue eyes white dragon so all of these are very strong packs the story with this is i was hit up by a guy in the discord and he said hey i want you to open these live he sent me these two packs and they were both psa 9 packs and i was like hey you buy PSA cards, there's a chance that they weighed them and then graded them. He's like, you know what? I don't care. I want you to crack them open. I'm going to buy them, crack them open, and then you open them up. And I was like, okay, we'll go for it. So we don't know what to expect from these. It'll be very interesting to see if someone left a hollow in them or not, especially with glossy LOB. There's no, not really a good way to scale if you guys have seen my first LOB opening. So that's what I have hope for, that we'll pull something. Pharaoh Servant, I think, was just a random loose pack. So we're going to have to see what, what it was. By the way, here are, the, here are the, the packs, by the way, that I cracked open. So... All right, gonna be interesting. First of the big old packs, Pharaoh Servant First Edition. Here we go. We simply pull a Genzo. That is what we do. Let's pull something awesome. One, two, three, four pack trick. We have our first card is Goruchin Kuwagata First Edition. You love to see it. Souls of the Forgotten. Be very beautiful card. Gust, also pretty cool. Insect Barrier, Weevil Underwood would hate this card. 
the insects are very barriered. I don't know. Science soldier. I didn't have anything to say there. We have driving snow, like in Lord of the Rings, the Fellowship of the Ring. Harpy's brother, now known as Sky Scout. We have a Reign of Mercy. Very cool, look just casual, but nice looking artwork. Our final card, I think this is our potential foil. We've seen predictions of rares, Thousand Eyes Restrict, Genzo, I've seen all kinds of predictions. Let's see if anyone, well, any one of them were right. Let's go. Red Moon Baby, no, not this creepy vampire baby. Oh, but it's just a rare. Barrow Servant, starting us off slow on the old packs. We got two packs to go. We want to risk it for the biscuit. Let's see. Not a great start for that, but we have two packs to go. That could be pretty amazing. All right, two packs to go. My favorite set, Metal Raiders First Edition, we will be opening up next. This is a big set. There's a lot of awesome commons, rares, supers, ultras, and secrets. I mean, just ev almost every card in here is really cool. Metal Raiders was formerly a graded pack, so I suspect... There's a good chance it was Wade, but we're not going to find out without opening it up. Metal Raiders First Edition, my absolute favorite set of all time. One, two, three, four. You got an upside down card. You remember, we pulled Summon Skull upside down. So we're going to keep it upside down just for the luck. We have Hunter Spider First Edition. Imagine if there was a Summon Skull upside down. It'd be insane. Occubeam, beautiful. Castle of the Dark Illusions. Roaring Ocean Snake. Electric Lazard. Very cool. Okay. Doma, the Angel of Silence. Centering's a little bit pushed down on these commons. Rainbow Flower. Okay. Probably one of the least interesting, you know, cards in all of Metal Raiders. Ryukishin Power. Is this the end? This might be the last card. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Yes. This is the last card. Upside Down. Is it an Upside Down foil? Just like when we pulled the Summon Skull. <sighs> Get nervous, guys. What will it be? Will it be something epic? Oh, a summon skull! Ah! Here we go. Sword and shield, shield, sword, whatever it's called. It's not the Pokemon games. It's just a rare. So just a rare in there. It was not a foil pack. Metal Raiders, F's in the chat. Our final chance is Legend of Blue Eyes. Look. If we're going to pull a foil, we want it to be from Legend of Blue Eyes. We want it to be the Blue Eyes White Dragon, Red Eyes Black Dragon, Exodia, Dark Magician, Monster Reborn, Gaia the Fierce Knight. We want one of those. Even a super rare. Even a polymerization. Even something like that. Flame Swordsman. They would be huge. Send us some luck in the chat. Even the comments here are pretty valuable. There's some pretty big stuff in here. The rares even are pretty big, but we don't want to see a rare here. We want to see a foil. Did the person who graded this pack leave a foil in the pack? That's the question. We will do a pack trick. Looks pretty legit so far. One, two, three, four. Doesn't look like anything weird's going on with this pack. We have a Vile Germs. Just look at the green on these first edition Legend of Blue Eyes. It looks real nice. And look at the glossy print. So the good side is glossy is very difficult to scale. I tried to scale it once in my first box. Ended up pulling red eyes out of the lightest pack. So hopefully this, this person did that as well. Vile Germs. Fire Yaru. Hopefully they're like, this is a light pack. No way there's anything in this. Succubus Knight. Beautiful card. Three-armed monster lady, I guess. Tyhone. Oh, wow. It got really bright right there. Uh, okay. Tyhone. Why did it get so bright? I don't know. Terra. The Terrible. Okay. He's pretty terrible. I agree. We have a Doc Gray. Also pretty cool. We have... We're getting close. It's close to the end. The Turtle T Gray. That's six cards. This is one more until we get to, or one more after this. Hard armor. Okay, for a second I thought I messed up. These are the Exodia limb. I thought it said 300, 200. I was like, that's Exodia limb stats. I thought we pulled an Exodia limb. Oh, I got so excited. Okay, one more card. Still could be an Exodia limb, or even better, Blue Eyes White Dragon. Here we go, guys. Legend of Blue Eyes first edition. Was it worth it to open this pack? Here we go. Metal Dragon! No! <laughs> it's just a Metal Dragon! Oh, so it turns out these were probably scaled before they were graded. I mean, I just say that based on point rare, but honestly, it could have been just random and we just didn't get a whole foil because one in four, basically. Oh, that was still fun, though. So shout out Milfman. That was a really fun opening. Really appreciate you hooking me up with those. Really awesome. 
super fun video, especially for YouTube. So shout out in the comments. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content. If you want to see these live, check out Twitch as well. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Daxer, JT Show, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, Dizzy, Flexi Boy, Hoppus, Choice 333, Micycle, James Jance, TCG Trusted Cards, America Deutscher, Supreme, Sage 21, Frankie Martinez, Nana Tai Show, Ian Moose, Junior Barding, Mimic Gecko, Shadowfall, and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.